Oh, I hear you. Believe me, <laughs> I have a four and a six year old at home and I ask myself the question every day. So what you can do, number one, again, is be vaccinated. Everybody that is in your social circle that is going to see your kids should also get vaccinated as well. And then, you know, the thing that we're starting to think about, too, is when you're going to indoor spaces, um, especially those that have poor ventilation, or if you're going to crowded outdoor spaces, wear the mask. The mask actually can help tremendously in terms of decreasing your risk of getting an airborne virus like coronavirus. And then, of course, just all the other preventative things that we know really help. So keeping that social distance, making sure you're in a good ventilation spot, get tested right away if you think that you might have some symptoms or your child might have some symptoms. And then that contact tracing is going to be really important, too. So really just being aware of your surroundings and just knowing that, you know, our kids are not eligible right now. So we're going to be we're going to be the people that have to protect them.